Hi, I'm Bex from channel Bex Bug Out Survivor. Now, if you recall, a little while ago I created a hammock system and my challenge was it all has to fit into 35 litre pack. And we had a night out with it and, you know, it was quite successful. But I really wanted to improve on that system and to learn from my mistakes and get a pack together that is more suitable really and it's still quite a small pack I think this is 50 litres either 45 or 50 litres it looks like a 45 litre to me but I've housed different equipment for a hammer kang now it is really really lightweight it's stupidly lightweight there you have it it's on my little finger now on the side of mine I have a sleep pad and a Bergen cover which aren't required for this particular system. So I'm going to take them off so there's no confusion. Usually I like to have a little foot mat when I get up in the mornings so I'm not putting my socks onto the bare ground. Okay, just like last time when we did the 35 litre um, compact this is the 50 litre lightweight so a lot lighter than we tried before because I learned a lot from uh, that camp out and corrected some mistakes so 50 litre and this is a recon pack and the difference between recon and patrol is the recon pack is a squarer shape and doesn't have the side pouches but rather has um, an extra accommodating pouch on the front and the patrol pack more like a Bergen single rounded column down the back and two side rocket pouches so it's dive in time and see how I've set this up now I will get this weighed and put a caption in somewhere um, of its weights now I haven't got accurate scales so I'm going to be a little bit cheeky take it to the post office drop it on scales and maybe uh, put a couple of quid in the charity box and uh, I can get a more accurate measurement of the weight. Okay, first thing in the pack is the snug pack and this particular one is the cocoon, 1950 grams, just under two kilos. And the hammock is inside it and I have extra insulation. Now I have taken this down to quite cool temperature but I did wake up, uh, not chilled, but cool. So I've added two elements that will easily bring you down to zero degrees, I should imagine. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna take this out and test it probably next week. So the beaner for the tree, tree huggers to lightweight whoopies. And I'm going to set this up and you can see it how quick and unified this system is. And that was the problem I was having, is it wasn't completely unified. Venus to Whoopi. Hammock, hammock cocoon. You can also use pea pods, a lot lighter. Up to the other tree, it went on pretty quick. I'm gonna unzip this and show you what's inside. I don't have a big span of tree here, so it would benefit from being adjusted a little. But uh, for now, I just wanna show you the actual system that is stupidly lightweight so the benefits of a cocoon over under blankets and top blankets is uh, it's a unified kit as you can see the under blanket hangs uh, without any adjustment it's easy the top blanket sits over my shoulders I zip up, I'm doing it from the outside, but it can be done from the inside. And my head 
has its own little pillow here. And last time I was out, um, I did take with me a fleece sleeping bag liner. I'm going to use my Sea to Summit uh, reactor, and it's not in its compression bag, and neither is the Sol Escape bivvy. So I have the Cocoon, Sea to Summit, Sol Escape bivvy, and these are like a sleeping bag. Now the best way I found to do this is to get the hoods on. I cock my feet over and lie down. So there's no fiddling or adjustments. I reach for the zip of my pod system or cocoon. That conjoined with a sleeping bag liner and the snug pack cocoon is going to be cosy warm. This three piece system, well four including the hammock, um, is really lightweight and very very compact and as you can see I managed to unify a lot of the parts, nothing is in a stuff sack, in fact my pack is the stuff sack and I'm not just taking things out of the stuff sack to save the weight of the stuff sack, uh, that's not the idea. The reason why I take things out of stuff sack and unify them is just for a really quick pitch up and uh, a rapid takedown should it be required if you're stealth camping. Now I'm on the lookout for a lightweight cheap basher and I've been looking, just put my glasses on, I've been looking at the DD super light top, it's around 50 quid I think. Well, I can get it for 50 quid. Um, again, I'm not so bothered about saving a few grams, a few ounces. I want to save space. And that would also fit into that 50 litre recon. There's a pouch in the front, which we'll come to in a minute, which uh, will house sundries such as torch, wash kit um, and food rations. Now, I've also made the cook set super simple, super small. I'm going to get the cook set out. This just simulates a lightweight basher. This is my Blizzard survival blanket. Um, it can be used as a tarp. But like I said, the DD um, tarp hasn't arrived yet. But in the fast response pack, I have my cook set. That's it. And you can see I'm using the Salt Escape Bivy um, little stuff sack. But I have a cook set in it instead. Now this too is ultra compact. A spoke, a fuel bottle which I'm going to house in a separate little pocket just so it's a little more compact something like that that's just a hundred mil of fuel 200 would be better so now without the fuel and the little spoke this is the whole entire cook set here and it's adapted from many other pieces I've collected over the years I've made a little homemade lid. I have a lighter for the stove. I'm using the 200 millimeter Wildo folder cup. And using 200 mil will ration my water because I was going through it a bit quick last time I was out. The actual stove itself, little homemade uh, number there with the simmering and snuffer for it. Heat shield come windshield, which is just foil. And this is the GS Idlacia cup. The cup cup houses the stove. I can house the drinks cup in once it's folded and it's just dropped in my pack, put a lighter into that 
put the lid on and back into its stuff sack. I've only got a bit of fuel in this and I need to top it up. I'm looking out for a 200 mil bottle really, 100 mil is not going to be enough to get me through the night. It does about four or five boils for that. Now I'm just going to allow the fuel to soak in to the wicking rope here. In the meantime, I'm going to pour some water like that. So already it's a very, very compact system. The uh, drinks and stove set are incredibly compact. I'm not so bothered about lightweight. I'm after compact. If I wanted lightweight also, I'd be going down the road of titanium. And I haven't got hundreds of pounds for titanium cup pots. My little uh, aluminium one will suffice. Let's see if we can just light this. That's a weight. There we have it. This is my favourite stove system. But I would like to carry the little stove inside a little plastic bag and then I won't get the odour. Wild old folder mug, get this ready for a brew. Now if you were doubting any part of the system, I do have, I'm sat on it now, a very very thin pad and it's a yoga pad, it's only I think three or four mil thick, but it's enough to insulate, it's actually very very good. Um, I, I much prefer yoga mats over CCF pads. The cocoon is going to insulate just fine. I'm walking about with my lighter, I'm going to put that away, put that away, and then I'm not going to lose things. So the only thing that I'm going to replace is the actual uh, tarp itself, and I'm hoping it's going to be somewhere half this size. I might even make my own tarp, and I've got an idea, and I think you're going to like it. It's going to be a simple make and hopefully semi-invisible but um, I'm going to have to collect some product first and when I say collect I mean find. I'm going to be on the scavenge. That's boiled. Now if I had a coffee with me I'd be making it right about now but this is just a really quick show and tell of the improved lightweight compact hammock system and next week I'll be out with this and I will film it and bring you the results and of course while we're there we're gonna have a few brews a chat hopefully a bit of a laugh uh, and I will bring a book this time <laughs> until next time take care of yourself hope you've gathered some ideas from this and I'll see you there Happy trails.